Gunaidan and Gunaidan to this little guy. Gunaidan from one of my favorite cities in the entire world from beautiful Istanbul. We are here for my boyfriend's 30th birthday. He wanted to come to Istanbul and then from Istanbul actually very exciting enough we are going to Cappadocia which I've never been and if you have been subscribed to my YouTube for a while you know that I have been to Istanbul many times. It is the motherland so it holds a special place in my heart for sure. I love coming here and just eating all the amazing food obviously and seeing all the sights again it's just like kind of new in my eyes every time i come here there's always something new to see but it is his first time so it's interesting to like see it through his eyes as well this is my view right now so beautiful that's the Hagia sophia mosque and right behind me is the blue mosque which is where we are going to right now. Very peaceful, beautiful spring day at the Blue Mosque and we're about to enter. As you can see, it's still under construction. We're yeah, always fixing the architecture. We're about to enter and they have my scarf. Make sure you have a head scarf because you cannot enter the mosque as a female and you also need to take your shoes off. So that's one thing to note as well. You can bring like a little tote back if that would be helpful. You look pretty. <laughs> windows is just so spectacular and magical we're here pretty early it's 8 a.m and it is still very full what do you think the architecture here is like i have never seen anything like that um, the lighting coming into it is just amazing um, everything is so clean it's hard to describe it you just have to be here yeah you know you really do it's just so beautiful. Let's step out and then go to the other one, which is Hagia Sophia, which is right across. Yes, let's do that. We ended up leaving the Blue Mosque and we just walked across and now we're at Topkapı, which is a famous palace. It used to be owned by the Ottomans and this is where the Ottoman Empire lived, right? It was the residence of the Ottoman sultans for about 400 years, so you can honestly just see how amazing and taking care this palace is. We had to buy tickets, so you can easily buy a ticket at the ticket office, which is just outside, and then you come right in. And I'm also ready for my midday. Well, it's not midday. We did wake up at 3 a.m., which means that it feels like midday for us, but it really isn't midday. It's and 9 in the morning. It's 9 in the morning. What? <laughs> it's 9.46. I'm telling you, this jet lag is insane. I woke up at 3 a.m. I'm already ready for my midday coffee and it's not even midday. It's 9 a.m. I wish I was this much of an early bird, but the truth is I'm really not. I picked up a simit. As you can see, I just can't resist. They're so good. It has Nutella in it. You can see here's the simit stand. Should I do a taste test? Yes. Really good. And it's fresh. Taste test. How is it? Really good. It's so simple, but like tastes good, right? Yeah. And that at breakfast, toasted with some cheese and olives, is everything. Enjoy having our first Turkish tea of the trip. Let's see. So good. Definitely tastes like home. <laughs> when I ever I have a tea, it's just so so good it just never tastes any different it's always such a tough choice do i want a tea or a turkish coffee tough choice but i definitely have just having a tea now and then i'm saving space for a turkish coffee later in the afternoon when i will need it more are you ready to try yours i've never had um, turkish tea from a yes. teapot ever so you need to try it wow it tastes so good <laughs> It tastes very different from the tea that we drink. It's very different. I like it. How does it taste different? Like it's just smoother or is it like uh, a lot it's smoother? Stronger? It's smoother yeah. and it's just not it's like you know how the tea bags are like grainier? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like that taste in your mouth. The tanginess? Yeah, yeah. this doesn't have it. No. It's very smooth and that's why it's so addictive. After each meal, person from Turkey will order Turkish tea. 
it's just essential, really, especially after a meal. We went to Tokapa, which was really, really nice. And then we also went to the Blue Mosque. And luckily we went early in the morning. Highly recommend just going early in the morning as soon as you can, because as we were leaving, the crowds were very big compared to when we first came in. Hi world, you are currently speaking to a brand new person because like I mentioned I woke up at 3am this morning and after all those adventures of going around and going to all the touristy hotspots I crashed in the afternoon, early afternoon because it still is about 4pm here in Istanbul and I actually just like feel so refreshed and ready to enjoy the late afternoon evening i am at the pool it is so beautiful behind me right behind me the pool is sparkling and you can see that's a mosque i'm going to flip the camera to show you this insane beautiful zen view this is the pool and then right behind the pool is this Hagia Sophia mosque outfit of the day this is what outfit of the evening I should say because I've had an outfit change this is what I'm wearing these jeans I found I am very picky with my jeans they need to be stretchy but also kind of cropped which is kind of hard to find but these ones I got from Mango the shoes are Saint Laurent t-shirt my epic white t-shirts if you know you know Uniqlo is the place my leather jacket actually got in Hong Kong bag is my classic flap and yeah, this is my outfit. Sunglasses, can't recall. Out of Love by Les Specs. Really, really cool. And this is my outfit for the evening. We are going to get Turkish coffee, the first one of the trip, which I'm so excited about. Even though I make it myself, it's just, it's different when you're in Turkey. It's just different, it truly is. But yes, let's do that. And then we might stroll around a little and then we will be ready for dinner. Right next door to our hotel at a cafe. Hotel location is in like a very convenient spot. Restaurants right outside, all the touristy, destinations that you want to visit museum monuments are definitely walking distance the tram is right there and you can see like just full of restaurants and nightlife as soon as you step out but yes ordered my Turkish coffee my order is I get it middle they will ask you what type of sugar you want you can get it without sugar or you can get it in the middle which is just one spoon of sugar or you could get two spoons, which is shekel, which is very sugary, but I just get the one. So I am going to enjoy this. And of course, I have my little cup of water, which is essential. Turkish tradition, they have to give you a little sweet, which I'm surprised I don't have a little sweet. All right, well, cheers, love, let's see. Mm. Good, really good. Not enough sugar for you, I already know, but that's okay. It needs sugar. It needs sugar, I know, but it's too late to add sugar. Yeah. Right. What are we going to do? I'll drink it. You're just going to drink it. Caffeine serves one purpose, so you just have to have that mindset. Actually, fun fact, my boyfriend knows how to make Turkish coffee. I taught him how to make it, showed him. Now he's actually really good at it. He will get the fluff at the top, which is important to balance out the flavors, but also get the texture right. It's an art piece, right? It is an art. Okay, here is a platter of the Adana. Also, how old school is this little Pepsi can? Definitely ask for a Coke, but... They have Pepsi, which is fine, but it's so old school. This has definitely become a food vlog at this stage, but this is the Gözleme you can see. It has, I got it with the white cheese. It's freshly done by this lady right over there on the side. She's rolling the dough, it's all freshly made and cooked on site. And we got some hummus and we have a platter here. I'm just gonna dig in and enjoy this. And I hope this is the last meal I show for at least tonight. Yeah, that's a lie. <laughs> I've eaten a lot of food here and I haven't gotten bloated. Mm. That's like a really big thing. Huh? Yeah. I, I, in, well, back in the States, I could eat a small sandwich and I would get really bloated. Yeah. I don't understand why, but. It just like makes you think about like what's actually in the food, in our, yeah. in our food in the US rather than here. It's so fresh. It's not making us bloat. It's not giving you stomach pain or whatever it is. It's just fresh ingredients and it's really questionable. It is. It really is, but I don't know, tough conversation, but I guess we just have to move to Istanbul. It's the only solution, right? I'm down. I wouldn't move to the Sultan Ahmed. I already know the neighborhood I would live in. 
This is my first time here, so I don't know. <laughs> and here comes my omelette. Vegetables, sojuk, cheese. Looks delicious. Good night and happy. What day is it? Oh god, you know you're on vacation. What is it? Monday? Oh, it is Monday. I should know that because this morning we are going to the Grand Bazaar, which is the Kabbalah Church in Istanbul. And we're going to actually try and walk over there, which not sure. Last time I was here, I attempted that and never actually made it. Ended up at the Egyptian market with all the herbs and spices are. So we'll see if I end up at the right spot. I mean, I have pressure because it's your first time and you haven't been, so we have to find it. There's no... Hey, thank you for letting me know while you're making this video. Yeah, sorry. There's... I got lost last time, basically. But definitely need to find it today. The streets are very crowded over there. Luckily it's still early in the morning, it's about 8. Today actually I am also going to get my hair done so I don't know how that's going to work out. I did book it but didn't get a confirmation so I don't know if that's a turkey thing, turkey just relax, laid back lifestyle that they are <laughs> of not setting confirmations or if I really don't have a booking I guess we'll see, we'll find out when I get there. Let's get this day started. <laughs> Funny enough, we actually found the Kapala Chosha, the Grand Bazaar, very easily. But in my defense, we were already in the Sultan Ahmed area, and I've only ever entered the Grand um, Bazaar from Eminono, which is where the ferries is, where the water is. So I would say that was pretty difficult to find, but I mean, from our hotel, it's very easy. Which actually, I'm gonna link my hotel that we're staying at down below, because I didn't expect it, but I think as a first timer in Istanbul, you would say like, it's a great area for you to stay in. It's not bad. It's yeah, a, it's, a good, it's good, it's a good spot. Like you definitely saw all the touristy spots. It's the first time for me to stay in the Sultan Ahmed's area because I always stay more so like in Nishantasha or in Beşiktaş, and then we would come down but are we on the hunt for anything today? What are we looking for? Gold. Gold, okay. Well, you're in the place for it because like, I can literally already see gold. Gold is everywhere. So I'm not on the lookout for anything, but I might get some Turkish delight or some sweets, maybe some nuts, something vacuum sealed to take back home. Like, look at this gold. Insane, insane, insane. Insane. Let's see if we get lucky with anything. We kind of got something that we were looking for. Yeah. And now we're just kind of out in the streets. We might find another entrance to the bazaar. I could use some tea or even I could use Turkish some coffee. coffee. Right, we just left the Grand Bazaar actually and we sat down at a coffee shop. We found this really cute street. It's kind of reminding me of Mexico City in a way, just with the buildings and like the strip of stores and just this little strip we're on not the entire city but just this little strip is just reminding me of our time when we were in mexico city well anyways so we just sat down for some turkish tea as you can see i was thinking about buying the cups and the teapot to take back but i didn't end up choosing any they did have a few options that i saw at the grand bazaar and they also had a marble chess set that we thought would be, look really good on like our coffee table. I don't play chess, but you play chess and you're gonna teach me. So I'm just gonna sit, enjoy our tea and then try and find this hairdresser that is somewhere nearby, I believe. So make it there and I guess you'll find out if I have an appointment or not, because even I'm not entirely sure to be quite honest. We will find out. We will find out. Made it to the hair salon. So I'm gonna fix these ends, cut them, and then you can see my blonde again is coming out. So I'm gonna see what we can do about that. Change the color and give it some treatment. Well, hello, back from the hairdresser. And I'm feeling like a brand new person. The guy that did my hair absolutely killed it. What we did was we cut it. And then I also matched my hair color to my roots because the color keeps changing because I was blonde for so many years. I was a blonde for about 11 years. So that bleach just keeps popping up, even though my roots are staying brown and I just want the natural color. So they always have to go in with the ends and get it back to that color. 
So we had to do that. And then after that, I got extensions put in. So I'm trying out the Kerastase eye tip extensions, I want to say it's called. And this is how it looks. It feels amazing. It's so soft. And he just styled it so beautifully. I just asked for um, soft beach waves and he did such a good job. So this is something new for me that I'm trying out. We'll see how I like it. Something different. The summer is coming up. So I just always want something different. Now that I'm staying brunette, I don't know, we'll see how it goes, but it feels weird not being blonde. So like I still aren't completely used to being brunette. Every time I leave the salon, I'm like, okay, do I want to go back to blonde? I don't know. No? You shouldn't. No. You like brunette on me? Yeah. I mean, it's my natural color, obviously, and it matches my brows, so it makes sense. But yeah, now we are at Eminona which is actually right by the seashore on the European side and it is absolutely beautiful. We just sat down at a restaurant by the water. We ordered some food and we're just going to enjoy the rest of the afternoon. It really did warm up a lot. It's actually quite warm right now. I kind of wish I wore a dress or I might even, when we go back for tonight, I might change into a dress. This is where we're at right now, actually. It's about 2.15. Luckily, I went in early. I was two hours early and I asked, would you take me? And they were like, yeah, sure, come in. Really cool spot. So many tourists, people, internationals, they're getting their hair done. So I guess he's a well-known hairdresser. If you're interested in who it is, I can definitely share that. Just comment down below if you do want to know that. But yeah, all right, ready to eat? Yes. All right, I'll check in later. We've got some tavuk, which is chicken shish. I absolutely love this right here, the red green pepper. And then we got some kusur, some mixed onions, and of course, with the side of hummus. Probably gonna. is my outfit. I am wearing this J. Crew sweater and then just comfortable my aloe yoga leggings which you can't see <laughs> but I am in desperate need of coffee today. This girl right here woke up at 2 a.m. this morning so I am desperately in need of caffeine. I did go back to sleep but it was very briefly so let's go get some breakfast. Last breakfast in Istanbul and I see you're enjoying your sujukan eggs. This is my little platter. I had sujukan eggs too. I don't want to show you. It's not too appealing, but my little platter of simit. All the assortment of cheeses, olives, pastarami, and cucumber. I'm going to go walk over and get you a glass of vishnu soya, which is sour cherry juice. Would you be excited to try that? Yeah. I wonder if you would like it. Now, I don't like cherry at all. And in the US, they have a lot of cherry flavored food items, candy, drinks, and I just cannot eat or drink any of anything that has cherry flavor in the US. I just don't like it. It reminds me of the medicine as I was a child. I don't know why. I've spoken to British people about this love they agree, so I presume it's a Australian British thing. So I can't do that, but this is cherry, but it doesn't taste like that. It's different. So I'm gonna go and get it for you. Let's try it. Okay. Here it is. Sour cherry. Here you go. Enjoy. Thank you. Taste test. It tastes completely different from what it, I think cherry is. Right. It doesn't taste like actual cherry, right? Wait, let me also try because I haven't had this in a very long time. You know what it tastes like? What? It tastes like a cranberry juice. Mm -hmm. right? But without all that sugar. Mm -hmm. Like just fresh. It does. It's sour cherry juice. And this is iconic. This is very like appropriate for a Turkish breakfast spread. You will get your pomegranate juice. Well, not your pomegranate, your sour cherry juice. Mm. Very iconic. Or well, you can make a choice between that or orange juice. We are at Istanbul Airport and I actually just got myself an iced coffee. This is my third coffee this morning. I am extremely jet lagged. 
Like I said, I woke up at 3 a.m. No, actually, I woke up at 2 a.m. I could not go back to sleep about, I want to say about 6 a.m. And I got about an hour and a half of sleep and then just went straight to breakfast after that. I just had breakfast, packed, and now we're at Istanbul Airport. And I'm about to wrap up this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I stayed in Sultan Ahmed's area this time, which I never have before. There's so many touristy spots that we walk to. All the touristy spots that we went to in this video was walking distance from our hotel. So if you're interested in a great first time in Istanbul hotel, that is a walking distance to all spots in Istanbul that you want to visit, like the Sultan Ahmed Blue Mosque, or the Hagia Sophia, or the Top Kapı palace of the ottomans that was all walking distance and you know when i say walking distance i mean like five minutes walking distance even the grand bazaar so highly highly recommend i will link our hotel down below there's also another hotel right across the road that you could book potentially book as well that one had a rooftop with breakfast that they serve with views of the mosque so you could check that one out too if you're interested i hope you enjoyed this video we are actually off to cappadocia which is very exciting my first time in cappadocia and we have a hot air balloon booked in for tomorrow so we're going to do that hopefully it takes off and we don't have any weather conditions and that will be a separate video so expect to see that next and then when we come back from cappadocia we're in cappadocia for about a few days about two days and then we'll be back in Istanbul and the next time in Istanbul we're staying at the Bosphorus so that will be a few different things like shopping <laughs> because I didn't shop on this part of the trip this is more so just exploring the city because it was my boyfriend's first time in Istanbul so, well I hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions definitely comment them down below and I will see you in my next video